quick disclaimer before this video starts. Well, this game is a really weird game. Not very PG, but not only that, but this video is going to be longer than usual. Well, usual being as of recently. It's going to be an hour and whatever, you know. So if you stay till the end, there's not much. I'm not forcing you to, but I think it's a pretty funny game to watch. So enjoy. Hello, fellow tributes. This is Catching Fire Three, and this game is free on uh, on uh, Steam. And I was curious because whatever. But what I never knew. Apparently, just by looking at it, wait for it, is something, yes, and of course first we have to start on the character creation, so I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. A few moments later. <sighs> okay, now we just need to think of a name. Now, let's... Let me think of a name. There we go, Bob. Good. Save template. Yes, please. I don't like this already. I took so much time on this. Is it? Oh wait, oops, my bad. I don't like those. Save template. Yes. Okay, it's saved. Yes. Even though it's saved. Okay, new game. New game. Don't know why I said that twice. I could just... Pretty much everyone loves the coast. I wish this would go by faster. Let's go faster. Ah, uh, there we go. Pretty much everyone loves the close. Clear blue skies above the crystal clear waters of the shoreline. What's not to like, right? I don't know. Maybe this in front of my screen right now. That's my town in a nutshell. Yeah, furries. Don't get me wrong. This is the... Po uh, I do not discriminate against furries. I just don't like how this is a game. Don't get me wrong. This is the place to be if you want slim girls honky guys. Sorry. And curious tourists on the spectrum between those two. It's a spot. Oh, oh no. Wait. On the spectrum between. Oh, okay. That confused me for a second. It's hot spot holiday. Okay, whatever. It does wear thin. Doesn't care. Okay, I really don't care. I'm not doing that sound. Oh, God. Yeah. The sweet serenade of the alarm going off again. Time to get up and face reality. I'm beginning to wonder why I keep sitting. I hate... Oh my god, this feels too much like me. Feels like every morning I sleep past my wake-up call a little longer. I guess it's pretty easy when there's nowhere you're expected... Uh, yeah, I guess. 11 a.m. At least I can still consider it breakfast, quote-unquote. Or, comma, un comma. If I get up now, my motivation seems like it's extra low this week. Saturday morning, you know, whatever. Just get up! I don't want to see the alarm clock. It doesn't... I don't care. Oh, wait. I just remembered. Kobe invited his friends over today. Hold on. Watching them get all touchy... F mm, I do not like that one bit. Yeah, screw that. I'm not going to pretend to sleep while they swaps... What the fuck kind of, what the fuck kind of game is this? At least he's over at their place most of the time. If I'm quick, I can dodge a bullet and sneak out the house before having to say hi. So far, so good. No sound of anyone while I was in the kitchen. I can grab a shower when I get back. Though, I guess I still didn't work out where I'm going after this kid. Work out, oh, work out, I thought he meant like gym workout. Work out where I'm going after this escape plan. I may as well decide on that now. Uh, put on sneakers, go for a drive. About right. I guess put on sneakers. I'm not gonna accomplish anything when I'm content to be lazy at home. Keeping fit. Okay, I thought that was making me so I couldn't do that. Keeping fit is gonna give me my energy back. I might actually start waking up before the sun starts to go down. 
Oh God! Oh God! Oh no! 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 Do I have to blur that? I'm gonna like censor it anyways. Well, there's Maria Sunshine. You're looking chipper this morning. That's a guy. That's kind of weird. Chubby and muscular at the same time. I don't. I wish I could have done that. Oh shoot! I forgot to work on my body physique because I could have been chubby or something. I should know. I was starting to create a character uh, earlier, and then I was like, "No, this has to be for YouTube." Damn it, Kobe! Give me a heart attack, why don't you? <laughs> okay. Poof. You know, you know how like if you punch a certain part of their chest, it'll hurt the heart. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I didn't even know you were home already. Where the hell are your clothes? Don't tell me you and your boyfriend are. Oh no! 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 Hey, that's not very nice. Can't a little bro- Little brother. That's a little brother? I wish I could show, like, this part right down here, but, um... It's hard not to look at because it's right where the text is. Little brother, say good morning. Anyway, it's our bedroom, don't forget. Just because uh, that sounds like communism to me. <laughs> well, I mean, oh. Yeah, I guess I get that part, but the only time I see you in there is when you're getting... <laughs> Excuse me for being a little bitter, especially when I'm trying to sleep and all I can hear is bed squeaks and bird squawk. <sighs> oh my god, this is this is embarrassing. This is going on my YouTube channel. Is he in there now? Spent and sleeping like a kitten, I bet. I might need to grab a few things. For your information, it's just you and me at home. That's why I'm just in underwear. Don't you ever walk around the house naked when you know... No, no, I don't think anybody does that. You do it even when I'm around to see Cobes. Anyway, yeah, my friend, he isn't here. It looks so sad, but I don't care. <laughs> Why? I need to avert my eyes from that area, but I can't. When he's getting here, then I just want to... Okay, whatever. He dumped me this... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's sad. I was wondering, can I spend the day with you to cheer up? I mean, he seemed like a nice guy from when I met him. Sorry, Kobe, you want to hang out? Let me think for a second. You caught me right when I was going to do something. I'm going to make time for Kobe because he's the... Wait. What's... Is... Oh, that's the mother and father. Okay, that's why he looks like that. Hey, cheer up, okay? We'll go do something fun together. Okay, okay. Oh, I read douchebag and I was like, okay, please don't. <laughs> well, not behind you, but well, you know, and oh my god. Oh my god, I should have read that. And you can put that douchebag behind you. Well, not behind you, but well, you know what I'm trying to say. That is terrible. I'm not overreacting either. I've never played this game and I hate that I'm playing it. I mean, it's fun though, <laughs> because you get to create your own game. Uh, you, you know. I knew I could count on you. You're always there for me. We hardly spend time together these days anyway. Well, you know what would be funny? Chills. You know who Chills is. Everybody knows who Chills is. You know, Burger King, Foot Lettuce. You know that guy. And uh, doing the voices, you know. Well, you're hardly home when you're not working. You're crashing at a friend's place. Probably up to no good as usual. If you wanted me... Okay, I'm going to read this to myself. Remember when we used to share... Queen? Oh god, that's creepy. Come on, that was years ago. Plus, it'd be weird now we aren't kids anymore. Doesn't exactly change much to me. Speaking of sharing beds, is there anyone you've been bringing home? Are they cute? You certainly seem tired out when I get home. What? I'm just saying. Don't tease. You know I haven't seen anyone in that way since high school. Even then, I never really took my relationship seriously. Okay, I'm going to save this just because. Just because. You don't have to take them seriously to have fun. Not getting frisky is probably why you've been so mopey lately. I haven't been mopey. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mopey. Pent up then? It's not that. Oh God. Oh my God, why? Why did I think about that? Am I a girl or a boy? I don't even know. Probably a girl. And I don't like that one bit. It's just not working for a few weeks. Kind of gets me down is all. I'm gonna have to sell, okay. Wait, I should have probably read that. Uh, hold on. Hold on, I'm going back. I'm going back. I want to read that. 
I wanted to read that. Okay. Okay, pent up then. No, 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 no. Should have told me you were feeling down. Hey, don't worry about that stuff this week, okay? I'll cover the rent this week for spending time with me. The way you say that makes me sound like a jerk who needs to be compensated for spending time with my stepper. Mm. Huh. I don't like how he's a stepbrother. And that sensor bar that's still up. Okay. Hey, it's no sweat off my back. You covered my butt plenty of times when you were working. It's a shame you got laid off, though. You seem like you were good at that one. Couldn't really help that they downsized the whole apartment. Department. Ooh. Yeah, it sucks, but you don't like me bringing friends around whilst you're home. I'll stop inviting them if it's going to frustrate you. No, I love it when you're here. Oh, God. It's just, well, I see you. You finish school, you're out of the house most of the time, working and loving life, exploring your sexuality. And here I am, I'm back at square one. Huh, I was wondering if I should bathe today. Big decisions. Aw, oh, you're too sweet. And you're not that far behind. You just need a kickstart. Oh, and then, no, 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 no. I had two different things in my mind at the same time. No, and you'll be back on track. I can't really help you with the job hunting, but how about you and me going to town tonight and check out the clubs? I could use a fresh start myself, especially after this morning. Sure. I'm a good f stepsister, stepbrother. I don't even know at this point. It doesn't even say. Well, I did. The <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, but didn't I name my character Bob? Shit, I should have looked into that. Well, I did say I would spend the day with you. What harm could it do? If it gets boring, we'll go to the movies or do something else. Oh, God, the else. The else. Don't say else because he's your stepbrother. Awesome. You'll have a ton of fun. Trust me. Anything you want to do together in the meantime, I pick the nighttime activity. You pick the daytime. Okay. Yes, I'm very sure. Oh, I always use one save file. Don't ask me why. Hmm, give me a sec to think of something fun. Play a video game, make lunch together, put on a movie, go for a walk, hang out in the... Why? Why do I want to pick this one? Just like old times, there's probably some funny stuff on the internet we can check out, or you can show me what you've been up to while at home. Uh, what was the... F it was the first time myself and Kobe had a dedicated day to each other, for as long as I could remember. We seem to have become distant during high school, and it... It had kind of stuck that way ever since. Maybe this club thing wouldn't be so bad after all. I hadn't even thought about meeting people outside of work or school for a while. Okay. We had no... When we had no guests in the house, the bedroom was an underwear only... So oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! They had an old rule between them. When we had no guests in the house, the bedroom was an underwear only zone. I did not like that. Considering it was just us, I didn't really think too much of it. He wasn't the type to pull pranks while we were almost naked. We made a fair argument that he was already in his, and I had to get cleaned up soon anyway if we were going to go out. Being mature as always, he began whistling while I undressed. Oh my god. Oh my god, step bro. Stop. <laughs> Sometimes I think he made the rule just to get a kick out of me. Mm. He had a really wide range of whistles too. I guess that's an avian thing to sing and whistle really well. It's f why is there? I hate when. I why is there a question mark there? That was a statement, not a question. Okay, whatever. It's fun just waiting to hear what he come come up with next when I'm changing. Even if it did make me feel a little like I was performing for an audience. I tried to convince him to use the computer with me, but the chance to play on the bed was too tantalizing for him to turn down. We initially laid side to side, staring at the roof with our arms folded behind our heads, just chilling in our briefs, talking about anything that came to mind. Okay, when do I get to do other things besides talk to Kobe? Come on, I never thought of Kobe being the type, but he knows a fair bit of trivia should he ever get the opportunity to share it. Not just movies and games, either. I guess he paid more attention in school than I thought. Sure enough, being my brother, we ended up wrestling, quote-unquote wrestling, hopefully not. 
Once we started getting restless, he's deceptively strong for his size. Pinning my arms down and getting atop me more than once before I threw him off of me and did the same. Not exactly a thing to read too far into, even if this kind of wrestling meant something different if it was someone else here. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. I don't. This is so much. This is so much to handle. Oh, God. We eventually called the truth and laid our limbs over each other in an exhausted pile. If we wanted to go out tonight, we had to get ready soon. Oh, God, not again! Hey, can I use the shower now, or are you going to make me climb in there with you? Oh, God, it's all yours, by the way. What should I be wearing to this thing, anyway? Is the theme? I don't want to... Uh, why didn't I read that properly? If you want to go in just underwear, I'll be your wingman. <laughs> Quote, unquote, wingman, get it? Because he's a bird. But really wear whatever you want. This place is a very flexible dress code. Take your time and pick out something nice while I'm in there, okay? Hey, on a side note, can I borrow that towel? I didn't bring mine over. Can you use another one? There's like five of them in there. I don't like how he changed his pose right there. But he is kind of thick. But not... I uh, just forget I said anything. That one's my favorite color, plus you're practically dry now anyway. I'll let you off the hook this time. Better swoon me off my feet when I'm back. I'll leave the bathroom door open just to sliver just in case you need me. I'm sure I can dress myself. Go get cleaned up. We should get going soon. Alright, knowing Kobe, he's going to be in there for ages. I'll have plenty of time to get ready. Now it's just a matter of figuring out where to start. Oh, no, I think... No, I think I'm a girl and I named him... No. What? Yeah, this is how I want to look in the game. Why Why would I not want to look like this? But there's like nothing I can wear, so it makes no sense. What's cool, I guess? Hey, Bob, did you move the conditioner? Mine just ran out. Could you sh- Whoa. Do you mind just letting it hang out while you're looking for an outfit, huh? Well, for reference, if you came up to me like that and asked me out, I'd be all for it. Oh, my God. Haha, <laughs> I know you're just you not used to getting dress cobes, but you tend to s need to strip down to put new clothes on. Anyway, perv bird. Oh God, it says my name. It says my name. I'm Bob. Oh no, I should have changed the name. Slightly more restrictions on clothing. Yeah, it sucks. The scary thing is, I can't even tell. Uh, I, can't, you, I can't tell if he's joking. I know someone like that. He has the same name as me. And his last name is my brother's name. That's hilarious. I guess it would make it easier to tell a few things about someone. Get back in there and finish up and stop distracting me. Look like you were admiring yourself in there. Oh, whatever. And where's your towel, Mr. Preachy? Oh, I'm glad he's not naked. Those look like female underwear, though. Like, oh, maybe they are? I don't know how furries work. You just caught me at an awkward moment, it's all nothing either of us haven't seen before. I saw a new conditioner bottle under the sink. Finish up quick, we shouldn't stand around all night. Okay, whatever. And like a pair of new, it sounds fair to me, just don't take forever or I get to just... I better decide on an outfit before he gets back. Okay, I need an out- okay. Uh, I'm a male, so... Okay, something seasonal, something simple. I. Oh my god. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cross dress. <gasps> hey there, pretty boy. Is that one of mine? You'd better not stretch my clothes out. Oh, wait, is, it, is he a girl now? With a butt like this, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Oh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, we're both dolled up. Time to get... Okay, whatever. Let's get going, then. I decided to let Kobe drive since he knew the way. He has, was such a regular and had dated one of the bouncers briefly that he, we didn't have to worry about waiting in line when we got there. It was one of those clubs. Once the staff knew you, you were fine. Otherwise, you had to be very patient to even see the inside. We drove through the Illuminati side of town... I know what it says, I was just, whatever, it was bad, sorry. 
The sun now well on its way to setting nightlife bustling all around us from the bars and waterfront restaurants. Kobe kept reassuring me that I'd have a blast. What if the club... Uh, I'd gotten myself into this without really thinking it through. What if the club filled the type of guys Kobe liked to date? He's not always the best judge of character. He can be way too nice to everyone and I'm cer certainly a bit more picky. Okay, whatever. I'm not reading that anymore. <laughs> Where have I seen that character before? Have I s I've seen this somewhere. I don't know where though. Back of the line, kids. If I see another cut in line, you'll be kissing the curb. Hold up, don't you recognize this cutie? Oh, Kobe, sorry, champ, didn't see you there. You and your friend can come in. Thanks again, big guy. Well, that was really cool of him to let us in so easily. Easy, so easy? It's easily. So easily, right? I knew you were friends with the bouncers, but I didn't realize it was that close. I met him through my friend Virgins. It's Virgins? Virgins? Uh, I'll say Virgins. It's a long story, but let's just say he has a soft spot for cute guys. A simple, I did him a favor would have sufficed. I just appreciate you getting us in. The, he, quote unquote, I did him a favor, meaning not going to go into it. <laughs> I wasn't exactly experienced in the club scene at all, honestly, but I didn't want him prodding me about it. Okay. Anytime. Hey, I'm gonna go dance for a bit. Uh. Do, 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 do. Off he goes, already rocking his hips to the music as he disappears around the corner. Why am I still outside and not inside? Towards the source of the pulse quickening beat. I didn't want to smother him or cock block him if meeting new people was going to cheer him up. I might as well look around and figure out what I'll do it from here. From there. Oh, I'm inside the club, aren't I? What's this? Oh, I can't. I can't talk to any of these losers. Oh, who's this? Okay. I couldn't help but feel that some of the pigeons loitering out here was a little rougher than the glitter and short shorts of the club goes inside on the edge of the lively a, a canid canid with a nose ring was leaning on the wall to, okay whatever his or maybe her jeans were fashionably torn but fit well showing off a somewhat effeminate curve no this is definitely and you know what I'm not even gonna assume all in all, they looked relatively androgynous, and the general impression I got was that whoever they were, they seemed frustrated as they checked the phone repeatedly. I forgot about that! I forgot about that! I forgot. <laughs> I suppose it wasn't exactly unusual to not know someone's gender just by looking at them, not that that really mattered. Excuse me, I spoke up as I headed over towards where the husky... Oh, that's a... Oh, yeah, that is a husky. ...was standing. They looked me up and down in an almost dismissive way, putting the phone back into their pocket with a roll of their eyes. You seem like you're waiting for someone. Anything I can do to help? My brother is a regular here and knows the staff. No, that's okay. Waiting on a friend, that's all. That he's inside unless he's out of his damn mind. Out of his mind? Yeah, you know, drunk. Fucked up. No offense, but I don't exactly have any friends who make a habit of hanging out the city's number one hookup spot. The husky laughed derisively, derisively, yeah, derisively, and crossed their arms. They had somewhat of an accent, not too thick, but with a tint of something old country, New England maybe. Yeah, no, I can't do a New England accent, even though I live in Massachusetts, where they have a specific accent. In Boston, you know, whatever. They have accents everywhere. You couldn't catch me dead in there. Uh, that one. Huh, at least someone here has their head screwed on a little. I wasn't exactly expecting the pole dancers and PDAs must... PDA. I gotta look at that up. Hey, Google. What does PDA stand for? Here's the definition of PDA, a palm top computer that functions as a personal. I don't think that's what that means. Oh, public display of affection. Okay. This is more than my brother's thing than mine. Yeah, exactly. Though, I have to ask if you hit the club, what are you doing out in the parking lot? Okay. 
Safest place downtown, dude. The club bouncers are always prowling around, and even if they're fucking in the backs of their cars... Oh, god damn it. I got my car jacked last year. Safer to park it here, and the parking is free, too. Okay, whatever. Uh, do you always call everyone dude? A dude is just a dude. Big dudes, little dudes, good dudes. It's not a gender thing. I call everyone dude, especially when I don't know their names. Fair enough. Well, well, I'm Bob. <laughs> if that helps. Dusky didn't really seem the type to shake hands or anything, but they nodded and smiled all the same. You know what? All this time, I'm talking to this character, and I'm just a dude in cross dress you know it's weird uh haha fine I'm Lex by the way Lex I don't want to be rude and mispronounce you mispronoun you okay is there a pronoun you'd prefer not really either either not really either any honestly I don't really care about this stuff doesn't bother you does it Dusky shrugged inside a touchy subject, maybe. I know that might be a strange position to hear in Amorous. Is that, like, where I live? Okay. But out here in the real world, what's been between my legs doesn't really stop two people chatting. It's not like I need tits or a cock to shake hands or anything. I guess you're right. Sorry, Lex. Like, just didn't want to offend you. You can't offend me, dude. Uh, I mean, Bob. Oh, okay. So I did do the uh thing, right? Lex actually did offer their hand and shake. The husky seemed a lot less frustrated now. They le lent. Pronunciation of lent. Lent. Let's take a look. No. Pronunciation of lent. No. Okay. Check out this info. No, I didn't want to know how to pronounce meat. Okay, let's see. Lent. Oh, so it is Lent. They lent that. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I'm done reading that. You smoke. Uh. No, it's bad for you. So. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Oh, I should have read that. Just seems kind of dumb to me, hunting down people and dazzling them with such f some flashy outfit and cheap tricks to get into their pants. The number of hookups I've seen tonight is just gross. Nothing wrong with trying to catch someone's eye. I mean, that's why people wear band shorts. What are band shorts? Oh, so many things I don't know about. Wait, band sh shirts. Okay, it's just oh band. Does it mean? It does, doesn't it? It means, like, Led Zeppelin and whatnot. It does. Fuck! So there's no you're interested in the same thing. I guess the club is kind of like that. A suit shows you mean business. Raver gear is maybe more about leaving an impression. The people who crush this are expressing themselves. If it bothers you, well, I'm sorry. But if you're only talking to me because I'm wearing something flashy, well, I'd rather be f flashy and have your attention than fade into the wallpaper and not get to m meet you. Huh, well, that's about enough of that. I guess you have a point about looking the part, but I'm not talking to you because you're so hot. I just had to know who you were. Uh, I guess. Hey, Lex, not that I'm not enjoying being chill in the alley, but do you want to go somewhere? We hardly even know each other well enough for that. You're cool and all, Bob, but I should wait here in case my friend Dex. Did my game crash? Okay. Oh my, oh my God, her tail has a mouth. Oh wow, I didn't know I could do that. I hate when people draw furries like that. Like, when they're more human, they look hotter. But that's just my opinion. I know it's a weird opinion, but still. Oh god, where I've seen this game somewhere before I can feel it. 
Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh god, this was I made all the splashing and bustle of the bear. Oh god! The bunny girl waiting off to one side seemed to be all by herself and scanning the crowd with coy interests. Is that how you spell coy? I didn't know that. Amaris's pool parties were pretty legendary. They weren't many places. Okay, whatever. The bunny girl was pretty cute. A curvier girl with an outfit that showed off her full figure perfectly. It seemed like she had swimwear on underneath her sweater with the towel by her side, but hadn't worked up the nerve to strip down, which put us both in the same boat. Oh, God. I, f I keep forgetting what outfit I'm wearing. Her glasses only aided to the timid way she eyed up the other clientele. She seemed a little more mature than some of the other patrons, maybe a little older. A cute librarian-looking girl? How could I resist? Uh, if she was looking for company, I shouldn't wait around for someone else to snap her up. Okay, first I need to get her attention. Go over and say hello. I stepped over, skirting the splashing pool goers a little and gave the bunny girl a casual wave as I approached. Hi there, I'm Bob. Mind... <laughs> Hi there, I'm Bob. Mind if I keep you company a little? And then it's like, I don't know. Hi, Bob, I'm... Ra that... Hold on. Is Remy a boy name? Okay. Sorry, it's not to offend. I was just curious because... You know, I'm used to Remy being the rat from Ratatouille, but it can be both a boy's and girl's name, which is something good to know. I wouldn't mind company. I smiled and took my position next to her at the rail. She gave me a distracted smile as if I'd disrupted her in the middle of something. I don't think we've met, right? I shook my head. Honestly, I'm a little like you, a bit of a wallflower. My brother comes here all the time. I'm, well, let's call it an experiment in being a little more outgoing. I wouldn't say I'm a wallflower, I just like weighing my options a little bit. Ha! Huh. I guess I must look pretty shy and lame out here by myself, huh? It's not exactly a bad look. I don't exactly see myself jumping right into the pool and trying to go from there. All that splashing in white fur? Messy. Exactly! <laughs> so speaking of people watching, do you know that lifeguard over there? The lifeguard in question was a brightly marked... Leland Taraptor. Leland Taraptor. Raptor. Damn it. Okay, that... I've never heard of that. Looks like a pretty cool animal, though. I mean, it would probably look cooler if it was actually a real animal. Oh, swishing his showy tail to show off the complexity of his coloration, his predatory expression, whatever. Admire him with it. Besides the obvious showiness of his marks, the toothy grin he had showed his predatory attitude well enough. He was athletic in the lith. Lith. What? That's not. Oh, that feels weird to say. Evenly muscled way you would expect from a swimmer. The outfit he wore didn't leave many of those muscles to the imagination. The low cut of his vest. Should I stop recording? Well, let me let me check. I probably should, but I guess this can be a one-time thing, you know. Like one of those things. That you only play once and then play in your free time every so often because it's so good. I squirmed a little bit at the thought and Remy giggled a little at my side, nudging me with her elbow. He's definitely a dish. All you can eat sushi, maybe? <laughs> no offense. No, I know um, when I'm beaten. <laughs> hey, so I have a deal for you. I've been getting mixed signals from the guy over there for a while since we're both admiring the same prize. Would you mind putting in a word for me if he turns out to swing more my way? Sure, we can... Tag team, I'll get back to you. Okay. He was a specimen of lith muscul musculature. And regardless of my feelings on the matter, I could see why Remy had been drawn to him. His eyes alone were enough to make my skin prickle a little under his gaze. He switched his tail impatiently, the bright patterning waving back and forth. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, so... Newbie, huh? Well, the towels around here are for free use, and yes, we prefer your you wear swimsuits, but it's not a hard and fast rule. 
Thanks, must be pretty obvious that I'm new around here, huh? I'm Bob, by the way. Riptide, or just Rip, I guess. I don't like that. I like Riptide more than just Rip. That just sounds weird. Excuse me? He sighed, itching the side of his snout, a snout with a clawed finger and rolling his eyes. My name, jeez, did you actually want something newbie? I'm on break. Actually, I'm here on Remy's behalf, the bunny girl over there. Oh yeah, Remy, haha, <laughs> sure, I've dropped a few hints, what about her? Oh, I see, you're here to test the water. Not exactly. Well, newbie, if she's ready to go, I'm more than willing. That hot mama bunny is just looking for an excuse to jump my bones. Wait, she's a mom? Nah, but way older than I usually go for. Part of the cougar crowd, practically. You know, she has kind of a reputation for being a bit of a closet nympho. Oh, God. Likes to play shy till she gets you off somewhere and then total sl Oh, God. Still, you know what they say about chubby chicks. Huh. I guess we'll never know. Good to know, I guess. So you're saying that bunny is ready to pop, huh? I was planning on giving those two pool groupies a spin, but maybe I could go for more mature fun. Why should I hit him? Okay. I wanted to pick the nice one because I wanted to be nice. He adjusted his shirts with a hungry look to the shy bunny girl as he called out for her and pointed towards the staff room. She scurried over towards it and Riptide chuckled as he left me there. Whatever, plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, I don't want to ruin somebody's life just because of the game. Why do I need... Congratulations. Oh, what does this button do? Achievement. Oh, what? Oh. What? Oh god, don't crash. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I didn't. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. That's probably like the easiest achievement I've gotten so far in any in any game. Any. It doesn't matter which game. It's any. Uh, get a drink. I figured it might be smart to see what these two were up to before sliding in on their private conversation. I approached the vending machine and leaned against it nonchalantly, acting like I was thinking about getting something to snack on. I took in the atmosphere of Amorous, both the club and the situation in general. Ah, oh, what a beautiful place. There's something oddly relaxing about being up here and away from the press of the crowded dance floor. Was this the reason most people came up, uh, came out to these places? I could imagine myself chilling in a booth downstairs rather than freaking out trying to dance and show off. I felt more at home with that idea. Before long, I couldn't help but overhear the conversation next to me. Ha! Huh, is that so? You know, Rose, you do this every weekend. What's in it for me this time? What's in it for you? Well, how about this? The small avian leaned up, hand on the dragon's chest, switching, uh, swishing his hips the whole time. He whispered into his ear as the large male... Wait! Large men. Oh, they're male. Oh! Oh! Oh, the. Apparently, I'm not the only one that decided to cross dress. Because the one on the left is cross dressing. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I just. It caught me off guard when it said he whispered into his ear as the large male leaned over. Leaned down. A grin lightening his graph features a few moments later, now that was a winning smile, even if the smaller guy and him were clearly involved from the intimate way they touched when he whispered. Before I'd even realized it, the security guard had turned to me. He had that wide grin still on his handsome features. Okay, whatever. Well, 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 I don't think I've seen you around here before, and trust me, I would have noticed someone as cute as you. Hearing those words, I can't help but return that grin back at the guy. If they wanted to play this game, I was down. I cleared my throat, letting my word drip with a suggestive tone as I had Zenith and situated myself between the two of them. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't see someone as handsome as you sooner. Though, I can't understand you are already pretty distracted by your friend here. I don't blame you there. The dragon's eyes narrowed for a moment, however, that grin never leave, it leaves his face. 
They even smiled and stepped up, giving the security guy something to watch as he looked at me over appraisingly, and I just smiled softly, running my hand down the fabric on his hip. You must have been poured into these, huh? Is it hard to get out of them again? He gave a little gasp at my touch, biting his lower lip in response. Whoa, stay down! Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> that was a joke. I'm, I'm, I'm flaccid right now. Look at the newbie, huh? I like your spunk. Ew. I don't like how spunk has two different meanings. Think you can keep up with Mean Rose, though? Zenith moved closer, reaching a runner. Okay. I think I'll measure up. The name is Bob, by the way. Bob, eh? <laughs> Bob, eh? Well, I go by Zenith. Think we found what you're looking for, Rose? The kind of person they've been looking for? That sentence ran through my head a few times. I guess being bold does get you somewhere, like Colby said. Dave Ian in the belly top rose by the sound of it, eyed me up a few times and nodded. There's a social look about him. Okay, please, please don't show me anything. This really did, okay. Think you can keep up with me? Huh, someone's frisky. I know. I don't know if you've got what it takes to top this dragon more for pitching, if you get me. But I'd be willing to see how you measure up there. Zenith chuckled audibly as I felt him up. I was about to say something as Rose's fingers in the hem of my outfit, touching bare hip, drew my eyes to him. I braced for a slap. His eyes certainly said a slap was incoming, but instead he pulled me in for a kiss. Whew. It caught me so off guard that my moan was one of surprise as much as it was passion as he broke contact and grinned. Okay, oh my Zenith, we've got quite the kisser here. You keep that up, Bob, and we might not make it back to my place. That good, huh? Mm-hmm, that good. Let me be blunt. We're looking for a third to fool around with tonight. You're more than show... You've more than shown how capable you are. In fact, I dare say you're perfect. Just what I'm looking for. So down for a little fun? Yeah, Bob has brought it down for... I'm down for it. You know what? Fuck it. I came out to this club to have a good time, and a good time was being presented to me. It might have seemed like uh, the two of them had something to work out there, but that wasn't my problem. I gave them both an eager spot, a smile. I think that'd be good for all of us, when and where. Meet us in the back, sweetheart. I'm just going to freshen up a bit. I waited out in the back of the club, and then I get fucking clubbed. But in, like, just, like, whatever, you know. Fifteen minutes at least. It wasn't cold, but standing around as I watched others chatting, a few other hookups too, it looked like it. A few other hookups too, it looked like. It started to wear on me as my blood cooled. Maybe I'd been too icy after all. I was ready to check my phone and give them another few minutes before I went to look for them when Rose stepped out with someone else. Zenith didn't seem to be with him. It was a wolf who he was on the arm of. Rose pat the handsome guy square on the bulge in his short- Ow! Hey Rose, where's Zenith? I thought. I was quickly cut off. A look of impatient lust plastered all over his face. Oh, sorry honey. I found someone else as we were leaving. I felt bad though. Couldn't help but come to break the news to you. After he finished speaking, he peered over to the guy by the car who had just said his pants. Rose let out a sultry moan, whose hips wiggling a little. Oh, God. It's... Okay, good. Not naked. <sighs> Maybe next time, cutie. I've got the feeling I'll be busy all night, though. Before I could even say a word, he was off. I pushed my way back inside so I didn't have to hear Rose giggling all the way back to the car. I should have known something was up from the moment I met those two, and it didn't seem like Zenith was that welcome in Rose's evening plans, either. Stupid lesson learned. If it seems too good to be true, it usually is. At least I am amusing. St had an amusing story to tell Kobe, I guess. Now go back inside. Don't crash. Don't crash. Oh my god, I thought it crashed. It didn't crash. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Let's look around. Oh, I didn't even go inside, that's why. Is that Kobe? That's Kobe, isn't it? I'm gonna go chat to Kobe. Oh no, please don't tell me to hook up with my stepbrother. Hey bro, can I borrow you for a second? What's up? 
Any advice? I'm kind of lost, so I'll get whatever. I thought I could. Wait, what? That makes no sense. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you down there. What's up? I'd like to request the song if that's alright. Hold on, I have to turn some knobs. Alright, yeah, sure, no problem. But listen, I'm trying to put on a show here. Here's my number. Just text me your request and I'll get to it. Oh, sure, thanks. Okay. Oh, wait, I can get contacts? Okay, and then chat. No, that's not what I meant. Diary, contacts. Club Amorous, request a song. Let's see. I don't know any of these songs. I don't know any of these songs. I'll just... Okay, cool. But, okay, it's out of the way now. Okay, oh, that's my brother again. Let's see. Who should I go to? The bartender, maybe? Maybe one of these two or her? Or him? Or that? It? I don't know. We'll go to the bartender. My hand barely touches the counter before the bartender is right in front of me. From here, I can see that his uniform, Wild Dapper, is clearly tailored for the club. Well, you can tell by the freaking no arm, no sleeve. Oh yeah, see, his sleeveless vest and cuffed wrists are capped by a revealing tuxedo style. Okay, whatever. Welcome to Amherst, hottest club in town. I'm Jackson. I'll be your beverage artisan this evening. He won't send me before continuing. What can I do for you? Flirt. To be honest, you're not what I expected in a bartender either. Cute, well dressed, and quite charming. Are you busy after work? Flattering as that is, I make it a point not to get involved with customers that get messy. I can do messy. I might even like messy. I smiled broadly until I noticed his expression shading. That makes one of us. He could have sweated a little and put back on a smile. You're a nice guy, but there's a reason I don't do that. Let me know if you need a refill. Okay. Well, that sucked. Is there anyone else? Wow, there's a lot of... Dude's cross-dressing, like, right here. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a club. What do you expect? There's not much to expect. Oh, uh, whatever. He remained intently focused on his notebook, hunched over the table enough that he didn't notice when I shimmied my seat next to him. I casually watched as he moved, almost wrote from his frenetic writing to... Reaching for his glass and leaning to the wall of the bar. That was when he noticed me and in a sudden fit of surprise spilled his drink down the front of his shirt. Who? <laughs> where did you go? Why is that a floating head? His indignance seemed more due to trying to blot expensive alcohol off his chest rather than serious concern about my presence. I flagged down the waiter and ordered him another drink before operating him my neck. It's a bar. I didn't realize the seat was taken. Anyway, I was interested in getting to know you and why you had a f were just a floating head all of a sudden. I extended my hand across the table. My name is Bob. It's a pleasure to meet you. It took him a moment getting... <laughs> it's him again! That makes... Man, this just... Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. It took him a moment getting as much as he could of his drink off his chest and lap before he set the napkin down and gave me a thorough looking over. Those bright blue eyes narrowed for a moment as he hesitantly offered his hand and... Oh! Figured it out. He's part chameleon, I guess. Is this how you... Oh! Oh! Oh, wait. He's not Seth anymore. Okay. Whatever. But I know I knew somebody named Seth. Is this... A... The... This looks like that would be his persona. Is this how you usually... Or fursona, whatever it's called. Is this how you usually introduce yourself to people, Bob? Not usually, no. Just notice you're one of the only other people here not either dancing or relaxing with others. I was curious about what brought you here. You don't seem like the type. I'll admit it's an escape, but it's also to help me work through the creative process. Many famous authors immerse themselves in the popular culture of their day to draw on new experiences and observe people in new environments. I suppose that's true. I thought most of them indulged in, in part, because it was their particular interest more than strict research. You don't strike me as the type to write romance or erotica, though. 
Why would you think that? I mean, I don't, but why would you assume that is the only motivation for me to be at this club? Mostly because even the bouncers are wearing half the clothing you are. And because I'm here with my brother Kobe, specifically because this is his favorite place to meet guys for a fling, you have to admit, your choice of ambience suggests something more than just, okay, whatever. It, by now he's blushing furious. How do you blush furiously? I guess if it becomes to the point where it's a deep red, I guess. No, 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 I didn't get to read it. I'm not here to judge, it's just, well, interesting. I get enough stories from Kobe to get an idea of how this place tends to function, and you appear to be actively avoiding that function. I'm going to save again. Just real quick. Well, I, I'm homing, uh, ho honing my craft, trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone so I have a breadth of experience to write from. It's the sort of thing authors do. Sure you're not just lonely? You sure you're not just lonely? It's the major reason most people come here, you know, aside from the drinks and the dance floor. Is this a blatant attempt to hit on me? I assure you, I'm not just here for some random hookup with someone to up my self-esteem. Are you sure? Because I don't recall us discussing each other's preferences, and yet you suggest I'm trying to hit on you. It's not an unreasonable assumption, as you've suggested. It's a social place, and there are plenty of sexually flexible individuals here. And yet you assume I'm here to hit on you specifically, and that I'd do it just to boost your self-esteem? He stammered for a moment, his mouth opening as if to speak before he fell silent. A short flustered snort flared his nostrils as he moved to pack up his things. I was Come down, come down, it was just a gentle ribbing, I didn't mean anything by it. He looked at me skeptically for a moment, his ears flattened against his head before he set down his things. If you're thinking of doing stand-up, I wouldn't quit your day job. Too late, they already laid me off a while ago. That's one of the reasons I'm here, playfully harassing you. Sorry, I didn't know. It's alright. I mean, it's not alright, but I don't mind it getting mentioned still. Probably not best to dwell on it. Well, if I may be so bold, what brought you to the club tonight? A car! Since you clearly aren't driven by a desire to quietly observe, nor are you obviously looking to get drunk or dance. I'm curious as to what your motivation is. Mostly, I guess, to keep myself occupied and distracted. Kobe, my brother, very much likes this place, but doesn't always want to go alone. I needed time away from my problems, and he wanted a ride. A match made in, well, necessity. Well then, where else might you have gone if you had the options ignoring cost, location, or any of that? Somewhere interesting. I've always wanted to travel around a bit more, you know, see a few other places. Okay, whatever. Um, I've always thought it was important to learn things about another culture. It helps you to better understand your own. Not to mention the sheer joy of exploring. He seemed to be rather thrilled with this pseudo-interrogation. He looked back up from his notebook with excitement. So being that we are in this club and you already expressed curiosity to why I'm here, what do you think about this club? When I'm feeling mopey or just have too much time, I like to find other people to be around. Okay. He looked a little surprised, jotting down a few extra lines in his notebook before glancing back up at me. I suppose I should be bla uh, bladdered. Oh my god, I almost just said bladdered. I suppose I should be flattered you've directed your attentions to just me then. Extroverts commonly don't enjoy engaging with me for extended periods of time. So we've established where you want to be and why you want to be there, but the big question is who do you want to be there with? What kind of person would you be looking for at this club? Uh, I always get the, I also get, no, I get the feeling that this is a somewhat pointed question. I also get the feeling that there's something more going on he here than simple research. He shot me a Cheshire cat, grin grin and put his hand on his chest and mock shock. Clearly he was enjoying this intimate game of 20 questions. You. To be honest, you. I said about exploring the club at first, but you definitely caught my eye. There's a reason I'm here and not in the pool or down on the dance floor, and that's because you intrigued me. He shifted a whole new shade of red as I s smiled. Isn't smile just two L's? Maybe it's smelled. God damn it! Go back to Google. No, not snail. Smell my fat fucking thumbs. Dog, give up that smell, ass. Um. Okay. As I smelled from the stool next to him. Or smiled. Absently, he looked away to scribble down 
a note or two before looking back up and clearing his throat to hide his shy response. Uh, well, uh, it's always nice to be noticed, though I'm not usually the type of person to stand out physically. I mean, uh, I wasn't sure what was more adorable, his attempts to cover up his embarrassment or the light shade of pink showing through his snowy white cheeks. Alright, one more question and then I really should go find Kobe and figure out what he has planned for the rest of the night. I suppose I have been prying pretty heavily. That said, you have been a very interesting character to study, to say the least. It's rare I actually get to interact with someone. I'd hope I was more than just an intellectual diversion. Is that not the case? I didn't mean it like that. I mean, it's been interesting talking with you. I've been here for a couple of hours already, and you're the first person who stopped to talk that didn't want to drink an uh, order. I smiled and leaned down the bar. He was awfully cute when he desperately tried to regain his computer. So what's the last question? He hesitated, glancing down as a, at his notebook for a second before scribbling something in the margins. As he looked back up, I could see his cheeks were still quite flushed. I was heading to the library tomorrow to do some research for a story, and there was a, there was a reading I was thinking of going to. Could I convince you to come along? Sure, why not? I'd love to. What time? Really? I mean, uh, great. The reading is a little before noon, but they'll, I'll be there early. Let me give you my number so you can call and let me know when you get there. He tore off the corner of a notebook page absentmindedly, leaving a snippet of poetry in the upper half and passed it to me. Thanks, it'll be nice to have someone else there. It's always a little awkward to go along. Sounds like a date, then. I suppose it is. I need to get going, but be sure to call- Okay, whatever. After gathering his things, he shot me another adorable smile and strolled off towards the door. I folded up the paper and slipped it into my pocket. Yay, got another co contact. Let's see, anyone else besides just Kobe and that other person? And the bartender, of course. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought that was—I thought that was her name for a second, or his. I don't know. I thought it was its name, uh, but it was my name. I was talking. Break the ice. I slipped into the booth tentatively, tentatively, hoping a smile would win me a few points with the bored-looking fox girl. Hey there. Sorry to bother you, but you looked a little lonely. My name is Bob. If you want to talk. She jolted in her seat as soon as she heard my voice. She was so deep in a daydream, I don't think she even noticed me sit down. She quickly corrected her posture to something more ladylike. Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you. I've just been having a quiet night and I was kind of tuning out. Did you say your name was Bob? Yep, that's me. I know the feeling. I've been having a bit of, qu of a quiet night. Okay, that obvious, huh? Well, yeah, sort of got strapped along by people's plans and it was supposed to be my party too. Hey, for what it's worth, you look totally like one of the regulars in that flashy outfit. I'd never have called that you were new at this stuff. Those shorts are short enough for you to fit in here, too. I'm just one in Rome. Um, I guess if you say so, I didn't really do that on purpose, though. The fox turned a bright red under her fur and tried to sink through the cushion on the booth, hiding herself behind her arms a little. Okay, let's see where we're at. Relax, I meant it as a compliment. So this was your party at a place you don't even like? Yeah, my school friends insisted they treat me and get me out by taking me to a club. Don't get any funny ideas, I'm finished with high school and all, they just like to keep in contact every now and then. Funny ideas, she's the one about to give me a heart attack, I don't see an X on her hand though. Are they bad friends or something or? No, it's not that. You mean, they mean well and all, I just don't really have anything in common with them anymore, I guess. It's not really my thing to go clubbing and get drunk and go hunting for guys and stuff. I was only really friends with them because they were in my classes. You can get out of it, you just have, you must have closer friends, right? Okay, <coughs> we meet up every few months. You're not a dork. There's oh, nothing wrong in having long-distant friends. I should know. It's better than hanging out with people who you don't share anything in common with, right? What do you do? What do you all do when you get to those conventions, anyways? Thanks for being understanding. Most people here seem to think I'm weird for all the dorky talk and make an excuse to bail on me. I guess it's just because I'm not really looking to jump on a on a dick if someone. <laughs> So much is flirts with me, like I said, kind of not really my crowd. God, I'm sorry, I'm pretty bad at these first impression things, aren't I? I 
kind of more thinking of it, thinking of what being here says about me than, like, what I should say to people. Let's start over. My name's Sky, by the way. Reply, Flirty. Nice to meet you, Sky. Don't worry. I'll resist dragging you off for now. We can both keep guard. <laughs> You're funny, Bob. Thanks again for sitting with me. Who knows how long I'd be sitting here around waiting for my friends to finish celebrating on my behalf. I sure can pick him up, uh, can't I? Hey, can I get you a drink or something? Is that something I should be asking you? I came over after all. Oh no, well, I'd appreciate it and everything. I'm just not much of a drinker. Plus, my friends need someone to drive us home. If they aren't going home with someone else, of course, which they probably will be. Well, okay, let's both stay sober then. Only seems fair. If your friends bail, we can always grab a drink after to celebrate a little freedom. I guess that's true. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of got off, go off on tangents a lot. You asked about the cons I go to, right? First, I guess I want to ask a test question. Do you know why I'm just this way at the moment? Something about the con? Well, from the conversation, I assume it's something to do with the cons you go to. That's right, I'm actually a cosplayer. This is one of the outfits that looks like one of my favorite characters. I've always been a, bit a fan of cartoons, comics, video game characters, and all sorts of stuff. Dressing up helps me express myself, and a lot of my friends say I do it pretty well, too. Uh, I think I know the character you're dressing up as. You look really cute in that outfit. Honestly, you could pass it off just as a normal outfit, although a little colorful and, well, high cut. Thanks, and in the interest of returning the compliment, you look great in that outfit, too. Your smile lit up the club. It was a little hard to tell if it was just complimenting the TV show character or her outfit that had done it. I guess they were similar, but the subtle flirtation went over her head a little. How come you're wearing your costume to a club, though? I don't think you'd find someone else in here that's doing the same thing. I know it was a surprise party. My actual birth, my actual birthday was last week, and I was experimenting with the fur day to get the patterns right. My mom pretty much opened my door and told me your friends are in the driveway waiting to pick you up. I wasn't going to go into the, my normal clothes while my dye was still fresh. You didn't have time to quickly change. Well, when I cos, when I cosplay, I dye my fur pretty extensively. I didn't want to go through the trouble of trying to explain it to my friends, so I just went like this, where I could just pretend I was someone else. Makes sense. Not really. I'm not catching on. I think your friends would have known it's you in an outfit. They did go to your house after all, right? I guess so, huh? Let's just say that it made more sense to go full hog and wear the outfit to match rather than just being sky but with yellow fur or the kid. Oh, so your fur isn't really yellow is what you're saying. You're not a natural blonde. I know it's kind of dumb, but it kind of helps sometimes to be in character, you know, especially if they're a little cooler or more outgoing. And hey, it's been a good icebreaker with you so far. Your friends may not have the same interests as you, but you deserve a little spoiling for your birthday. If they aren't too interested in your content, uh, costume, then that's their loss. I'd love to spend a little time admiring your handiwork. If I remember rightly, the character has some interesting markings that outfit might be hiding. That's... You're very flattering, Bob, but I just can't. You seem nice and all, and you just want to help me out and everything, but I'm not really looking for a quickie tonight. If you're looking for someone to fool around with, I'm probably not going to be too good for you to flirt more. There's no better opportunity to explore your deviant side than tonight. If you're trying to prove something to your friends, I don't like where this is going. Okay, sorry. You're no different from anyone else who has to try to talk to me tonight. Everyone just wants me to hurry up and get naked for them. I have no idea what maybe I was just trying to tease you. It's not my fault you can't take it. It's about to give and it's about give and take here, you know? I'm being honest about my intentions. You know what? I'm just gonna go home. I've had enough of this club and its regulars. It's making me physically sick. Do me a favor and find another girl to fly Oh no 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 why? Why, you glorious bitch? Wait, did it just... Oh, it did. Oh, yeah, that's my brother. God damn it. Um... Do, 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 do. Wait. Oh, no. Those aren't the stairs. Where did I find those stairs? Oh, what's over here? Oh, yeah, I found the stairs. I'll get back to you. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Anyone else here? You. I guess I'll go with this guy first.
I couldn't help but notice the lion at the back of the room. His face was plastered and masked as the parrot next to him seemed locked in a scowl. Despite my best intentions, I couldn't help but overhear snippets of what they were saying. Seriously? You're going to make a big deal out of this? Yeah, I am. What were you thinking? That I'd have to come... God damn it. I guess this is a gay game, which I can't really... I can't really argue with, because... I'm all for LGBT, the LGBT community, so it's not like, like, this bothers me at all. It's just, it, it kind of bothers me, but not in the way you might think. It's more like, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> then go have some fucking fun, and once you're done, you can stay gone. Neither of them moved for a long moment. The snarl on the parrot's beak grew sharper, and it parted long enough for an exhale. Nothing was spoken, though. So the parent turned on his heel with a snort and strode back towards the bar. Okay, whatever. After a beat, the lion's expression changed. His emerald green eyes narrowed and scanned the room as the corners of his mouth began to rise. A twins of fear tickled the back of my neck as those eyes settled on me. The lion drew his tongue slowly over his lips and two very wicked-looking fangs came into view. He crooked the finger at me, urging me over. Approach him. Despite my reservations, I felt drawn in. His smile grew more- Okay, whatever. Well, would you look at that? I'm surprised you came over to me, but happy to see you here. I was just about to buy myself a drink, don't you suppose? Sure. Why not? Sure, I'm a little parched and a drink could help me relax. Sounds good. Let me order something up for us. Um, uh, okay. Unfortunately, there's nothing more awkward than standing alone in an active nightclub glancing between the club goers. I was feeling a little exposed until I walked back with two highball glasses. Hitting one to me, I glanced down to see what it was. Each glass had two cubes of ice and cherry bobbing in an amber beverage. There we go. I always like to have a couple in me when I'm chatting. Might even give you something to do other than stare at me. Not that I mind. So, I'm Dustin. What's your name, kid? I can't get over the, his na my name. Bob, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you? Huh. You sure you're in the right... Place kid. Anyway, the name's Dustin. What brings you here, Bob? You don't look like the type to cruise bars. And considering how quickly you came over, I figured you don't have a date waiting on you. I could feel my cheeks flush as those hungry eyes kept wandering over me. No, I just came here with my brother. He'd well, he'd been wanting to get out of the house, and I said I'd come along. You sure there wasn't another reason? Uh. The truth, I'm looking to get laid tonight. I need to blow off some steam and there's really no better way in my book. Besides, I'm not a dancer and drinking, uh, drinking is just a means to an end. God, are you for real? Kid, you look like you barely belong in this place and you're playing the big tough veteran. I bet you could count the times you walked into a joint like this on a single hand. What can I say? I know what I want and I'm not afraid to be upfront about it. You've got balls. <laughs> Literally. Uh, here's the thing about balls, though. You gotta know when to pull them out and when to just hint at them. So is that a no, then? Well, I'm gonna need more than just an offer, that's for sure. What do you mean? Well, I don't do... I can't... No. Ooh. Well, I don't do complete strangers and I don't do small talk, which means I'm gonna need some conversation if you want to keep this going. After all, we've both got drinks. It'd be a shame to waste them on empty chatter. Dustin's eyes glimmered. Okay, whatever. Fair enough. Why don't I start? Uh... Speaking of conversation, you haven't said much about yourself. Fair enough, but there's not much to tell that I can repeat in public. Are you from around here? What do you, what do, you do for a living? Currently, I'm slinging coffee and scones at man's best friend. Wow. They call it man's best friend. Wow. It's a local cafe that most people around here frequent. It's not the most glamorous job, but it pays the bills and my student loans. You'd rather work somewhere else? If you ask a couple years ago, probably now, well, it's kind of a comfortable rut. It keeps me afloat, gives me time to go clubbing, and I've got good co-workers, but you wanted something else back then. Was starting to be a lawyer and pretty gung-ho about it at the time. The fancy office, big paycheck, and the nice suits, it was an appealing career. Wow, this is, has gone on for an hour and 14 minutes. Interesting. Hopefully, if you got to this point, just comment that you got to uh, the hour and 14 minute mark. Because this is going to be a one-off, so I'm just doing this all in one. 
Uh, sometimes being comfortable is more important. Dreams are meant to be pursued. Don't know. You should go for it. You've certainly gone too far to give up now. Huh, maybe I should. I can consider it at least. I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help but overhear you talking to that guy earlier. What was that all about? You caught that, huh? Shit, not the best way to make a first impression. That was my date for tonight. Emphasis on the was. Suppose... Suppose I should have seen it coming. We'd been on the rocks for quite some time. What happened? Wait, why is my cursor... I saw it as yellow before, but now it's pink. Okay, whatever. What happened? We came here to look for a third. It was his idea to spice up the relationship. Probably is once he finds one he doesn't want to share. Polyamory can be difficult. Sounds like you made out fairly well in the deal. Maybe so. Still not happy about it, though. Gonna have to get him moved out. Deal with that fallout. It's way more of a pain than I wanted to deal with. Yeah, but I can't imagine things were going great recently. Harsh, but true. It's a relief, but still not some... I, I want some more of this going in my direction for once. Come on. Tease them as a bottom. Right now, I'm looking to expand my horizons. You know, find a nice guy and tease him until he can't stand it anymore and just has to explode. Whoa, 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 kid. What the heck was that? Come on, we're both here. You've been hinting about it all night. Why don't you just cut to the chase? There's no chase to cut to at this point. I may be on the prowl, but that doesn't mean I'm desperate for a bite. But I want you so bad, I'd worked on you right here. Now if you ask me to, I bet you, you wouldn't even mind by the time I finish. Let me give you a good time, kitty. Despite his placid expression, his eyes narrowed, he set his drink down on the table and looked at me for a moment. Kid, if you're that hard up for a fuck, then you keep, can just go f Damn it! Damn it! I'm terrible at this! Still, that tail is really weird looking. Oh, please don't tell me that's a guy. No, that may just be a camel tail. No, you know what? I don't want that. <laughs> No, but I'm gonna have to. Over the okay, whatever. She's seeing no, no, my type leave. I'm, I'm just gonna have him leave the. I'm just gonna leave the club now. Hopefully, everybody stayed this long because this is a really weird fucking game. Hey, bro, can I borrow you for a second? What's up? Can we head home? I think I've just had a, a bad head. Okay. You sure you want to go? I normally go all night, but I'm happy to go whenever you are. You just let me know when you're sure. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's it. I wouldn't mind calling it a night. Fair enough. I appreciate you coming tonight. You'll have to tell me about it when on the way home. It's rowdy in here. It was refreshing to step outside. The bouncer gave us a gentle wave, sharpie in hand, as he addressed the next in line. I felt a little bad for pressuring Kobe to leave earlier than he usually would have, but he was all smiles. He was just happy that I came, I suppose. Insisted on driving, drinking apparently put him off his game. After all the excitement, I barely recall what we talked about. Okay, whatever. Best not to overthink it. We passed out quickly when we got home, still riding the high of the evening. Oh, first time I've slept in life for reasons other than being a loafer. So oh, how did I miss that? How did I miss this poster right here? That's... That's a no-no. Seems like Kobe is already up. Either that or he just dropped me off and went back clubbing. Though the whole thing still feels kind of surreal. I should check my phone to see if I ended up getting any new context or if it was just one of those weird dreams. Oh, wow. I have Kobe as a contact now. Did I get... No, that's not what I want. Why is it ringing? Contacts. Oh, God. Hold on. How do I go back? Oh, I figured out how to go back. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Oh wow, this is long. I'm not even going to play this whole thing. Well, 
If you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below if you'd like to see more or what else you'd want me to do. I would love to play this game again just for you guys. So if you guys ever wanted me to play this again, well, then why not? And, you know, may the odds be ever in your favor. See you around.